Custom navigation animations can make an app more interesting. In this tutorial, we will look at how we can use containers to transform our widgets from one page to another page. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with an app here on the right side. And like you can see, we have here different kind of cards. And if I click on one card, then it simply goes to another page. However, like you can see, we don't have here any fancy animations right now. And that's what we want to change. Right now, I have here a staggered grid view where we have here then all the cards inside with the images. And here within the item builder, we have then here each individual card, which we are displaying. And if we click on one card, then we are going to a details page. And now we want to simply do some animation from this card widget to the details page. And therefore I simply wrap this card widget here around with an open container. And then we have here a closed builder where we put then our card widget inside. And secondly, we have here a property which is called open builder. And here inside we put then the destination, our details page inside. And within the close builder, we have every time the origin, which is then here our card widget in the initial state. And he should later do the animation until the detail page, which is then our destination within the open builder. Before we had here this navigator inside every time if we clicked here on this page. However, now with this open container, we need to set here this open container callback here inside. So I simply replace it here by the open container method. And this open container will then care about that the container opens up and then he will show the details page. And to make this open container work, you need to go to your pop spec GML file. And here inside, you need to set this animations package under your dependencies inside. Before we test this animation out, I will also quickly add here this transition duration. And here you can set the duration, how long it should take from this closed transition until the open transition. And now I can click here on any card and it should animate to the other page. And you see, we have here this cool animation with this open container. And within this open container, we can also change the animation type. And therefore I create here this transition type. And here you have some possibilities like fade and fade through. And by default, we have in our open container, the fade property inside. And then you simply set this transition type inside of your open container. And with this fade property, you have here every time this soft transition from one widget to the other. However, you also have here this fade through. And this fade through works a bit different. So it fades here our card widget within our close builder first of all out. And this looks then like this. So it gets here white. And after the fade out, it fades then the open builder, our details page inside. And now we also want to look here at another animation. So like you can see by default, we have here this floating action button and then it goes here up until we have this page in full screen. Therefore, I have here within the scaffold, this floating action button, which is displayed here on the right side. And therefore I have created this custom floating action button. And here within our custom floating action button, we do the same thing like before. We wrap here our container, our floating action button around with some open container. And then we put here the property closed builder inside, which is our beginning state. And secondly, we need to define here also this open builder. And here inside we define where we want to go. So this time we put again the details page inside and then he should animate to the details page. If I now hot reload, you see first of all that we have a small problem with our floating action button because right now he doesn't take here the circle shape, which I have defined here. And therefore you need to go to your open container and define here the style of your closed builder. And I put here simply this closed shape inside to a circle border, which is exactly the same thing as our box shape circle. And now if I hot reload, you see we have here the right shape for our closed builder. Now we want to look at how this animation looks like. So I put here again this transition duration to two seconds. And now our animation should last here for two seconds from the closed builder until the open builder. Let's now look at the results. So I click here on this floating action button and you see he is doing here this animation to the details page, which we have defined within our open builder. And also the reverse animation is working fine. 
A small thing I want to change is I don't want to have at the bottom here in the beginning this white color. Therefore, I simply put here another property inside, which is called close color. So we define here the color of this container and we put here simply a primary color inside, which is here this orange color. And now with this close color defined, I click here on this button and you should see that the whole container is orange in the beginning and not orange and white like before. And by the way, if you want to check out this whole source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!